For today's Tesla accessory video, I'm gonna share with you guys this awesome Tesla Model 3 NY 7.2 inch rear entertainment display. Now I have installed a couple of displays for my rear seat before. They were awesome at the time, but this is brand spanking new for 2023. They made a replica of the Tesla Model S and X rear screen, and they made it look almost identical for your Tesla Model 3 NY. One of the most important thing that it can do is that you can use Bluetooth headphone with a Bluetooth game controller and play video games with this entertainment system. They finally did it right. <laughs> and it's every year, it's only gonna get better. So every time something new comes out, it's gonna be my favorite one. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you how to install it. We're gonna play with it and see how it is. And if you do like it, I will put the uh, discount code link below. And if you do buy from me, thank you so very much. And while we're at it guys, I do have a Tesla t-shirt. So if you guys are interested in a Tesla t-shirt, the link is below. All right, so I have this display from Tillard, an awesome company. I definitely recommend getting all your Tesla accessories from Tillard. They are absolutely awesome. The customer support is great. And so far I've been enjoying their customer support. So that's why I'm recommending it. Inside, you got a couple of tools and then you got the cable that goes in the back. I'm gonna figure that out and let's see how that looks. It looks so high end guys. Look at that. That is crazy. Ooh. You got the fast charging USB-C right here. You got the regular USB-C. You got the air vent. Now you won't be able to control where the air vent's gonna blow to. It'll just blow out. But you know, there's the little sacrifices you have to make sometimes. But this screen is absolutely amazing. All right, let's go and install that. Grab a firm grip and just pull the back panel. There's a clip that connects to the USB-C, so you just pull that out. Your display comes with a cap to cover that port because you won't need that. Now you just get the tool and just pull that back panel out. It just tugs at it. Everything just pulls apart. And then you use a hex screwdriver to unscrew this too so that you could take out the back panel so that you could pass the wires through it to the monitor. This wire controls the seat to move forward and backwards. We're gonna have to move it to the front right seat Behind this plastic piece using the T20 torque screw to just take out that one bolt so that you can easily just pull on that piece just to have access to that one connector right there. Plug in your blue cable and then attach the back end of it as well too. And then you connect your monitor and put that little cap on that USB-C port. Then you just push the monitor in. It clips into place. And then you screw everything back and then you just push back in the little plastic panel. And it's that simple guys. And then once the front is on, once the master controller is on, and then the person in the back could actually play with it. Now it's got animation of the way the air vent flows. You have no control, it won't move. So it will just kind of do its own thing, kind of scatter around. If the main air vent is on back here, you could then have the control to turn it on or turn it off if you feel like you don't want it back here. So this is cool, you get to activate the seat warmers. All right, so I'm gonna connect it to my phone Wi-Fi. Go to Android setting, go to Wi-Fi, and it's already connected to my phone. Oh, that's cool, it's automatically connected to my phone. When I walked in, I didn't even have to do that, that's cool. That's good to know. All right, let's get back. So I noticed that if your Apple CarPlay is connected, which the best way to do it is Android setting, then you go to your connected devices, and then pair new device and then your my device is called TSL BTD and on your phone you just go to your Bluetooth setting find the same name TSL BTD and then when you go back you want to go to general and then CarPlay and I actually had to activate Z-Link I actually had to click on it and then it went and got activated so once I did that and come back out go into the setting Z-Link and there you have it I have to admit, this response time is a lot faster than the previous model, right? I mean, even when I scroll, it's a little bit faster. It's not instant, but it's smoother, right? Look at the map. Look at that, right? There's like a slight, slight delay, but not that bad. This is not. This is definitely uh, doable. This is way better than before. So I love that. The fact that you get Apple CarPlay for the passengers <laughs> not for yourself so all right let's get out of it all right so connect to my phone and now you get to mess around look at that youtube turns on real quick it's definitely a lot more fun so i'm gonna 
connect to my Myohung account. Look at that. It's a lot more fun to use because look at the response. Look. It's almost instant. Once it gets warmed up, it's really nice. The screen is very crisp. I love that. There is an audio lag, but that's definitely just the Bluetooth technology. But I know that when you hook up to your Bluetooth headphone, it's in sync, right? So that's a plus because get one of those cool little speakers and let's see if that actually works we're gonna go it's on pairing mode right now let's go to Android setting let's go to Bluetooth let's go ahead and pair it it's an a speaker okay let's go allow good let's pair it good that's working now time to go back to your videos let's go watch a movie Prime video. So the sound that's coming from the speaker, the sound that's gonna come from your headset is in sync. So that's really cool. You could just have a speaker back here for your guest, for your kids. So that way you guys don't have to be bothered with all the sound effects that's coming from the back seat. So that's really cool. I love it. Yes. The game store, look at all these games that you could download. Really cool. Ooh, that's so instant. Look at that. That's crazy. That's cool. Okay, let's bring that down. Let's go home. I know the Play Store doesn't have Netflix and it doesn't have Disney Plus, I believe. But anything that you don't get from here, from the App Store, you could easily go to the Chrome. And then you could then access here like that, Netflix. Right? And then you could just watch it from the Chrome. So that's a, that's cool. I, I, had, I don't have a Netflix account too. I don't have a lot of things. You get to control the music. Pause, fast forward, rewind when driver on the front is playing their song. The next one is the lock screen, which is really cool. So I absolutely love the monitor. I'm gonna put the discount code link below and if you do buy from me, thank you so very much for your support. All right, that's just my car turning off. <laughs> what is that ding, it dings? But I do love this monitor. I think it's the best one so far. And then you never know, next year or end of this year, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna keep coming out with better and better uh, screen. If you guys want to take your Tesla Model 3 to the next level, that's what this is all about. Our Teslas look exactly the same from 2017 all the way to now. They're just weird small little adjustments here and there and improvements. And the Model 3 still doesn't have a rear screen, but now you could get yourself a rear screen and level up. As a backseat passenger, it's easy for me to just reach over and click on it. I don't have to go. It's, it's a small car, so I could just touch it. And especially if you're in the middle, you could easily touch it and everyone could just kind of enjoy the little screen and it's cool. I think it's fun. Uh, I definitely recommend it. So guys, discount code link below. And if you guys do buy from me, thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching it all the way through. Please leave a comment. Just say what's up. I mean, help me out. If you just say what's up, then actually um, it helps out with the algorithm. And, you know, I'm doing this for my family. So I, yes, I appreciate you guys supporting me. And I will see you next time.